So don't be afraid. Oh no, what am I doing? Hi, my name is Celine, a writer, a traveler, and plant powered. Join me on my quest for incredible landscapes, fascinating stories, and delicious plant-based eats. This is Plant Power Pinay. Here's another episode of Plant Power Pinay. Today, ang gagawin natin ay isa na namang original recipe and it's one of my favorite dishes to make kasi I can make a whole bunch of it and then just store it in the freezer tapos pull it out kapag tinatamad magluto. So, this is a plant-based version of a favorite Filipino food, Lumpiang Shanghai. Ang gagawin natin ay black bean Shanghai. So, tara na! Okay, I have here some black beans. Binabad ko siya overnight, tapos pinakuloan until super tender na. Now, if you're worried about the uric acid of legumes of beans, by simply soaking the beans overnight, sobrang mababawasan yung uric acid. And merong study na yung uric acid that we get from eating mungo is not actually from mungo, but from the meat na sinasahog natin. So don't be afraid to eat beans. It's very high in protein. It's good for you. Okay. So, kuha tayo ng 1 cup ng black beans. Now, let's make it 2 cups. Okay, natin siya sa food processor. You can also use a blender. But while I was waiting for the black beans to be tender, I already prepped all the ingredients para lagay-lagay na lang tayo. So, I have here some shredded carrots. Kuha din tayo ng 1 cup. Then, some onions, red onions. I already had it diced. Just get a handful. Maybe two handfuls. So, ito, kinot ko na to. This is one large onion and one small red onion. Then, here are some diced up green chilies. Siling pansigang. I like to add this para may konting spice. Pero we'll add this later on para hindi masyadong maanghang. Then, we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Tapos, one teaspoon of soy sauce. So, kung medyo maingay, pagpasensya niya na may nagbibideo ako eh. <laughs> At tumatawal yung mga aso. Okay. This is a manual food processor. So, ikot-ikot lang. Okay din siya na arm workout. <laughs> Hirap hindi dumikit. So, nilipat ko siya dito kasi may suction cups yung food processor. Hindi siya kumakapit dun sa table. So, dito na sa tiles. So, here is what it looks like now. Medyo pino na siya. That's the perfect texture for me. If you use a blender, mas fine yung magiging texture, which is also fine. But I like my lumpia a little chunky. Just do a quick wipe down. Tapos, here's our siling pansigang. Add a handful. I'm gonna add some more green chilies. Pero this is optional. You can leave this out if you don't want it to be spicy. So we have our black bean filling. And we're now ready to roll some lumpia. It's gonna set aside the mga ano, other stuff. So, yung measurements na yun can be easily doubled. So, you can see I prepared a lot of the ingredients kasi I plan to make a whole bunch. So, we have here our lumpia wrapper. Hiniwalay-hiwalay ko na siya. Some water. Gonna start rolling. So, I have here a medium-sized lumpia wrapper. So, palengke ko siya binili. Tapos, I put in maybe a tablespoon of the filling. water to seal it up. That's our first black bean Shanghai. So, I'm going to roll everything up and then balik tayo after okay na. See ya! Okay, we've finished rolling up all our black bean Shanghai. We were able to make 52 pieces of black bean Shanghai. So, I made two and a half batches nung filling. And you can make 18 to 20 per batch. So, yun. We're gonna fry some up for dinner. Yun, tara! Okay, here is our black bean Shanghai. I'm 
gonna serve this up with some rice, some sauteed pechay, and some diced up singkamas. And that will be our dinner for tonight. Dadagdam ko din pala syempre ng sweet and sour sauce. Because lumpia isn't lumpia without sweet and sour sauce. That's it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you try it. It's very easy. And I'll see you in the next episode.